That's burnt umber. And I, I don't want this to be too dominant. That's a little too dominant, isn't it? I'm just figuring out how to do this, frankly. It's an interesting situation here. I'm thinking wet and wet for the moment in here. So I'm sort of trying to think, I'm, what I was going through in my mind is I'm trying to think of framing this with some darks out in here and then fading toward the cathedral. So right now this is very wet and wet and See, that, what I'm try, thinking of is if, I, if I'm going to try to get an idea of the overall values of that I want to use, and then, then I'll come back and try to get some, you know, some definition. So I'm going to let this dry for now. See, I think, at least I do, I have to find a find my way. I've, I've painted loads and loads of paintings, but it always seems like it's a brand new experience. And I think that's what continues to make it fun for me, that, that I really don't know how I'm going to solve things. So I'm certainly just feeling my way here. Okay, let's get into some figures in the foreground. And I'll let that dry up there. Now you should paint. See, I'm holding my knuckle right on the paper here. And, uh, and, and so again, I, you know, I like to watch, and I think it's really, especially if you're doing a people, you need a certain amount of definition. I mean control, rather. So when I, I also, this guy's front leg is going forward, so I'm going to make that a little bit darker. And this back leg is going, well, I'm going to darken down there, but, but maybe, and again, I'd like to make those cast shadows. And the young lady has a pink hat on. and a white shirt. I'm gonna let a little of him go in there. Yeah, I guess I better tone that I'm in there. And she's got dark trousers on too. And the backpack. And there's an automobile over there, so I like to I like to tie in background shapes. <laughs> now, I, I think I'll stick in a telephone pole area we have. And maybe a little bit darker shape I, over there.
Is it a red? I see a red car back there, so I'm going to use that. It's actually maroon. This is a really odd idea, but I think I'm going to put a foreground figure in here just for the fun of it. This is just a whimsical idea, but I just for the fun of it. I better clean this palette up a bit. Just use a red and a cadmium, or yellow ochre. That's uh, cadmium red and yellow ochre. And for the hair, I'm going, and then a little cerulean sometimes. And a little background here. Fade that away a little bit, and again, this is just a sketch, so that if it's, it's if it's terrible, it doesn't mind. But I just think it's time to be a little adventurous. I'm going to put a little a little bit of a tone in here for in the foreground, and maybe that's a little bit too blue. Now let's go back up back in here a little bit more. No, there's, these are warm, kind of reddishy buildings. I'm just going to do that a little bit. I'm getting about as far as I can do this, I think. I think I better maybe try darkening over here on the left. Now I'm, I'm letting this dry a bit. I think the, um, initially you should be, use wet and wet and be quite loose, not commit yourself in, any, in anything drastic, but uh, I like to have a sense, as I, as sort of a, I like to get bits and spots of color, I like to get suggestion of negative shapes. But as it dries, you can get some definition. As I'm looking at my painting, I think that in retrospect, I think this could have been, a, I'm going to make this a slightly darker form so that it frames the cathedral. I thought I'm correct, I thought I was right about lightning in here, but I do think it needs some, a little bit more definition in here. As you're seeing, as the paint's drying, it's losing its kind of emphasis in here. So I'm just, I just see if it's a little bit dry. So let's try on these buildings on the, um, the right. And again, I'm resting my hand to see if I can't get a little bit of 
see this is this is risky it's an ugly building and so I don't, I don't want to I don't want a lot of separation in there it's a case of what values to use it's already looks a little too dark to me but I'm going to fade down and maybe add a little bit of cool Yeah, see, that's too strong. It's a very subtle thing, I don't know. But that seems to be definitely too strong. So, it's got a... I guess that's okay. And I'm gonna jazz up the, these trousers a little bit. So I just go around and see if I should find a few little areas that I can get a little bit more mileage out of. I sort of see a hint of a tree back here. I was thinking of that. Maybe I'll bring that down under her. I'm changing the photograph a bit here. Uh, because I was going to use that to kind of frame her head a bit. And I think I'd like to have a little bit more over in here and maybe a warmer color, maybe some burnt sienna in here. Again, this is just experimenting. It's Painting is really, it's not the, it's not the, it's not the, uh, the actual objects is kind of, it's, it, it's really you think of spots of color and shapes. And I'm trying to get the, the I'd like to have interest throughout in terms of, that's why I do like to have darks on the corners and um, at the edges. And I'm always attempted to do a cast shadow cross to tie in those two people. And I'm about done here. <laughs> that was kind of wild, isn't it? Anyway, anyway, that was fun. Um, I think what the major problem, and again, this is such a lovely, uh, lovely painting. I just want to say that my main thrust was that I felt there was just so much interest in here, and even though it was beautifully done. And he was stuck with these buildings, which is really tough. Because I think they must have been hit during the war. Because this side's okay. But I think when you have something this is it's interest in St. Paul's, I think it should be more dominant, which I've tried to do. And I think David could have used a little bit more color and um, try to get a little bit more edge, more interest around the edges and maybe take advantage of some negative shapes behind that white dome. Okay, well that's it. Now available to buy. Try these techniques at home whenever you wish. The extended DVD of today's workshop and the book that accompanies this series are now available from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.